In this principles update, we're going to be talking about the importance of teaching to us as a university. Of course, there's a great deal of attention being paid nationally to teaching with the introduction of the Teaching Excellence Framework. But the truth is, of course, we've been focusing on teaching and its quality at Queen Mary for a very long time, and we continue to do so. Many of you will be aware, for example, of the Teaching Recognition Project, which is encouraging all academic colleagues to apply for fellowship of the Higher Education Academy. We have the target of 100% coverage by 2018, and I'm pleased to say we are on track to achieve that target. But there are other initiatives that we need to follow to ensure that our teaching is of the highest quality. And we need, for example, to attend to the sort of issues that our students are asked about in the National Student Survey. So I'm joined today by um, Edmund Burke, uh, Vice Principal for Science and Engineering, who's decided that in this year, that faculty in particular will pay attention to some of these issues covered by the NSS. Evan, I wonder whether you can cover what some of those key issues are for your faculty. Yeah, so <clears throat> this year it's an absolute priority for, for us. We are looking at all aspects of the student experience, but in particular we are focusing on assessment and feedback. This is something that uh, is highlighted, it is an area that we really need to concentrate upon. We're looking across the faculty at the consistency of marking, at timeliness of marking and at quality of marking. We're also looking uh, very closely at uh, how examination feedback is presented to our students, how, how we can better provide students with information and knowledge on how they have performed in their exams so that they can take that to the next stage of their education. Now clearly all of these developments are fundamentally undertaken for the benefit of, of our students. We would expect improved performance in this area to be reflected in, in the National Student Survey. In turn we might an effect, uh, expect an effect on the TEF results. But fundamentally we're doing it because it's the right thing to do for our students. Absolutely. We, we are in no way trying to artificially chase NSS results. What, what we are trying to do is provide the highest quality of student experience for our, for our students because that's the right thing to do. And of course it's important to recognise that our promotion systems, for example, and our recognition of the performance of academic staff takes full account of contributions in, in teaching. And really this is entirely consistent with our fundamental notion at Queen Mary that we're committed to knowledge creation, knowledge dissemination as part of the academic spectrum of activities with an equal emphasis on both of those components. Indeed, and in the faculty last year we piloted a new promotions process which highlights the opportunities for colleagues to present all the work that they've done across teaching, collegiality, impact, um, public engagement. So this process has been seen to be to be really successful, this new promotion process, and indeed it is now being rolled out across the entire institution. Now as always, we welcome ideas from colleagues about how we should do things even better. And so, again, as always, I'd like to encourage you to submit any ideas you may have directly to me at principal at qmul.ac.uk so we can continue to emphasise our commitment to high-quality teaching and still further increase the quality of the, of the student experience.